Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Evolution Pre Evolution stuff uh, for Generation 6. Um, this is a fairly short episode again, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, and now we're on Generation 5, and we're looking at evolutions of Pokemon. Are we? Yeah. Evolutions of Pokemon. No, yeah, we are. Yep, yeah, okay. I'm doing I'm good. Just forgot what I'm doing here. Um, okay. So we're going to start off with Ordino. So Ordino, it's you know kind of like the Chansey of Generation 5, and in Generation 2, Chansey got an evolution, so Generation 6 works that Ordino should get an evolution as well. I think it should as well, because Ordino is kind of useless on its own, not used as much as other Pokemon like Chansey and Blissey are sometimes, so giving it an evolution would definitely make it more usable. What would this evolution look like, you ask? I have no idea, maybe larger? Um, another design, maybe its ears get bigger, because it's known as a hearing Pokemon, so you know, it should really have larger ears. Apart from that, I don't really know um, what it might be a normal fairy type when it evolves. Who knows? It might just be a fairy type when it evolves. I have no idea. And now we have Basculin. Um, two forms of Basculin, obviously, as most of you will know. I think both, obviously, should get an evolution. Because, well, they should just, just should. Um, I don't know what it would be called, but obviously it would be a bigger fish. Hopefully some more form differences rather than just, you know, the, the red and the blue and the eyes, really. Um, maybe the red one gets sort of... Um, I don't know, red fins, or uh, becomes like an anger form, I have no idea, and the blue one becomes sort of a, a calm form, whereas the anger form is more focused on uh, attack and special attack, whereas the calm form is focused on defense and special defense. Stuff like that maybe, um, I'm not too sure really, but that would like help you choose which bash game you want to evolve and stuff, especially if both are going to be available in Generation 5 somehow, who knows. Now we have a Molga. Now a Molga at the moment is just a single Pokemon, and I think it should definitely get a evolution of some kind, because that would make it so much more powerful. Since it has a fair load of uh, resistances this uh, this time, resists electric uh, type. Actually, doesn't resist, doesn't resist it, but you know what I mean. Um, you know, and its its only leap weakness, which is the ground type, is now alleviated, but it gains the rock type weakness because of um, its flying type. But still, um, it's definitely gonna you know be cool with an evolution. Um, obviously bigger wings, I'd guess, um, tail maybe more looking like electric, uh, head maybe, you know, some extra stuff there, who knows really, I'm no graphic designer or anything, so I wouldn't know really what it want to look, to look like, but um, it's the possibility for a Molga, but I'm, I'm not too sure already. And finally for uh, evolution of Generation 5 Pokemon, we have Durant. Now, at the moment, Durant is just a single Pokemon, so I think giving it an evolution would be very feasible. Maybe make it, you know, um, a giant ant, you know, uh, I don't know how ants work in real life, but I'm pretty sure there's a queen ant or something that's much bigger than the others, or maybe, you know, there's flying ants as well, so Durant can maybe become a steel flying type, or, a, you know, something like that, or just gain wings and gain the ability to learn flying moves while still being a steel bug type. I think that might be very interesting to see how they went about that, so, you know, Maybe, you know, a Queen Ant, so only a female Durant evolve, or something like that, a male Durant evolve into maybe you know, a flying ant in instead. There's loads of possibilities for that, but, um, yeah. So, obviously, then, the female male Durant would be, like, um, still flying, and then the female Durant would be still bug still, or something, something like that. Or, well, I was toying with the idea of making it a fire type, like a fire ant, you know? So, maybe, you know, males evolve into a fire ant, females just uh, evolve into a normal ant, or flying ant, something like that. Who knows? Um, there's loads of different ways to go about it. Maybe give it a flame orb and train it, uh, trade it, and it becomes a steel fire type. Um, who knows, really? There's loads of possibilities for that. Um, so that's it for this episode, guys. I couldn't really think of any more Pokemon to give evolutions to, just because Generation 5 was so full of evolutions already. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I'll be seeing you in the next episode, or the last episode for this kind of mini-series, where we'll be looking at Pokemon that from Generation 5 that I want to have pre-evolutions in Generation 6. So guys, I'll be seeing you next time, thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below, and to subscribe if you have not already, and I'll be seeing you next time, goodbye.